Hello. Good morning. It's like three, nearly four a.m. in London. Thank you so much for allowing me on your show. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? I am well. How old are you? I'm 29. I've just turned 29 in October. All right. What do you got? What are we talking about? Uh, so your show is about this is a high-valued man's world. This is, is it? Uh, it was missing. This is a high value man's world. Is this a high value man's world? Yep. The ultimate question. What do you think? Is it a high value man's world? Is it not? What do you think? Yeah, I'm quite new to your content, but I believe so. And I'm actually seeking a high valued man at the moment. Um, being 29, I haven't got children either. Mm -hmm. um, I did travel the world from for like four and a half years. So I kind of was so focused on work as a air stewardess. I didn't make much time to use that age period to really date and meet anyone. Okay. So now I'm taking it seriously. Uh, you, you're seeking a high value man? Yeah, a high value man, yeah. Uh, why? Why do you want a high value man? Because they're worth so much more physically, mentally, financially. Okay. okay. I mean, that's great. I to... Do you want kids? Yeah, I do. How many kids would you like to have? Two, to begin with. <laughs> to begin with? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're married and pregnant with your first child? No, I imagine myself taking care of the home and like being that support for my husband. So did you go, you yeah. said you went to college? Yes, I did. But yeah. I dropped out. Do yeah. you have a bachelor's? No, I have a diploma, which is like equivalent to the first year in college. Uh -huh. um, and I have a certificate in education, which is like equivalent to like part university like the first year but okay no nothing standard no so um so how tall are you i'm five foot seven dress size I... <laughs> okay maybe not <laughs> i said dress size i'm a uk 10 or 12 i don't know what that is in u.s Mm, okay. Um, how much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? I'm 147 pounds. Okay. Um, all right. Here's the tricky one. On a scale from one to ten, where would you rank just your face, fresh face out of the shower, no makeup, no hair extensions, no anything, and you cannot use seven? Five. So, and you're 29? Yeah. So, this becomes a math equation at this point. Uh, a high value man, what percentage of men make six figures or more uh, over there? I don't know, actually. I haven't checked that. Well, what do you think? Maybe like. 10% of the population here in London. Okay, 10%, 10%. Okay, so the top 10% of men. Okay, so if you want a man in the top 10% of earners, that means he's an above average man, right? So if you say that you're a five, that's right about mm -hmm. average, right? Okay, and if you're five, 147 pounds, UK 10 or whatever, I mean, in the ballpark of average. Mm -hmm. All right. How does that equate to high value man? Um, can my over, can my femininity energy over like give me an advantage because I'm quite calm. A lot of people say that yeah. and I'm a listener and um, 
I do believe oh. in God. As well, so okay, but do you maybe... think that there are women who are eights, nines, and tens who are had the same thing as well? Yeah, possibly. I'm sure they do, and they're really stunning, beautiful, and got great All figures. All right. Really so, attractive. okay, if you say top ten percent of men, so if I threw you in a room with the top 10% of men and I put 10 men in the room and I put a hundred women and I put a hundred women in the room. It's roughly the same. Odd. Only, only one, only one man per woman. What's going to be the differentiation between the women? Ooh. Like ratio wise. Yeah, because you look, you 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 you're limiting your selection of men to the top ten percent of men, and at yeah. almost thirty years old, um, some of the things that many women would say that they have done in that time frame to separate themselves from the pack would be academic and career, but you haven't done that. Well, I traveled the world for four and a half years, so that's a huge accomplishment in terms of my yeah me doing that a lot of people haven't done that okay um oh, that's true um how did you travel the world by the way i worked for emirates airline and okay. from two into 2018 mm -hmm. yeah so i was based in dubai okay so, so plenty of plenty of uh higher earning men probably flew on those flights yeah i lost I didn't make any effort whatsoever. Um, did they mentally, make any, did, did they make any passes? Yeah, some did. Some, um, some, some. Yeah. Okay. So if you've been around men who are, mm -hmm. see what I'm saying is it's not, it's, it's very common for women to want men for their resources. But if you have to make yourself a man in the top 10% of men, wouldn't you think you would want to get the best you could get for your value? Yes. Yeah, so what would that be in terms of me and my specification? What, what, well, you, by, what, by your own, by your own, by your own, mm -hmm. um, by your own ratings, you rank yourself as around about an average looking woman, average weight. Without makeup. It's okay. Um, okay, but you don't go from makeup doesn't give you four points. Okay. <laughs> so if this were if this were eighty years ago, women in your position were were they trying to get in the top ten percent of men? No. Why? Do you think they? Do you not think they wanted more money and to live better? Yeah, I'm sure they did. So why don't why do you think women didn't try back then? Well, because they just accepted who they were and attracted that instead, I guess. That's one answer. But these men are limited. Once they're gone, they're gone. If you can't get mm -hmm. one, then what? Uh, then. I accept what other men are available or single, you could say, and want the same things as me. Do you want to be, would you want to be that man? <laughs> that man who's high valued accepting someone like no, me? No, 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 no. Would you want to be the man who's not a high value man, who's just a regular average man that you have mm -hmm. to accept now because you can't get a high value man? Would you want would you want a woman coming to you that way? Um, as long I wouldn't mind as long as they're not like talking about it. As long as they're coming oh, with okay. fresh energy. Oh, okay. So okay. But as long as they're not talking about it. Would you want to be somebody's second choice? No, I wouldn't want that. No. Why not? Uh why not? Because it doesn't make you feel worthy. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Now we're getting there. Mm. See, back 
in the day, women who were average were happy to get men who were average and went off and built a life because everybody, everybody, it's called a sortative mating. But today, women who are average want luxury lifestyles that they can't afford themselves. So the only way to get that is to get it through a, a man's money. But don't you think if you had to go out and make that money, you would want the best you could get? Yeah, definitely. I've okay. earned it. So. Well, so uh, <laughs> in, in other words, this is a hard question. They've earned it. Well, or is an average woman a worthy pro as an average woman a worthy reward for a high value man? Oh, can you repeat that? Sorry. Is an average woman a worthy reward? Average woman, worthy reward. Average woman, worthy prize for a high value man to earn? No. Unless I mean, all other women are like gone, <laughs> then we'll be like not. this. I, I'm just trying to get you ladies to understand that you don't want to be somebody's second choice. So these average no. men that you just overlook every day because they're not. They can't afford to give you a lifestyle that you can't afford. You didn't put yourself in a position to afford. You don't have the skills to afford. And you, and if you decide to finally give up looking for Mr. High Value, whether you talk about it or not, men don't want to be the second choice. Let me let you ladies know why men know this is the case. Because you don't get to be a woman over 30 years old and not having been approached by suitable men. Most men know that you've been approached by pseudo men since you were a teen. You've just passed them up waiting for a better deal. So now when women become over 30, they start to settle. And men are like, back then you didn't want me. Now you're out of options. You all owe me. That's how men are looking at it. Like yeah, said, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just saying, why not, why not live an average normal life where you have to work mm -hmm. while you're married and you have to put your kids in daycare and you have to save and live at your budget and do that for 30 years, then mm -hmm. retire modestly and live a modest life. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can happily do that easily. I could easily do that. I kind of see that in my sister's relationship. She's married and her husband earns well and they have three children and they're so but, happy. But, but, um, but that's not what you came in saying. No, because I was asking if I have the potential to meet a high valued man um, right. based on like me. Okay. Um, I but get you've it. made it. But, but my, my thing is, there are magnitudes more average men and above average men. And at 29, time is running out. Yeah, <laughs> big time. <laughs> and if you're not, I mean, and the reality is, you know the kind of men who actively approach you for serious relationship. And if they're not top 10% men, they're not going to start becoming top 10% men just because you're older and want them. That's for all women. Ladies, listen and listen well. You know the kind and caliber of men that approach you for serious relationship. If they didn't approach you at 25 or 23, they're not going to approach you at 30, 35 or 40. Not going to happen. Mm. I mean, yeah, what... I what what product, what product gains value with age and use? Mm, none that I can think of. There you go. So when was your last relationship? Uh, in 2018. How long, to did 2009. That, how long did that last? It lasted about eight months. Um, it was long distance though. They were based in Boston. Okay. Have you had a, when, have you, when was your last relationship? 
So are you guys are geographically in the same area? Um, oh, a long time ago, probably over six years ago. How long did that last? Yeah. That lasted um, one year. Oh, so you don't have a relationship. Okay. So long, I don't count long distance relationships for most folks. Um, would you say you do relationships well? Um, I haven't in the past, to be honest. What have um, you done? What have you done to fix it? Um, so I did some therapy. Okay. I did that CBT to be specific okay. yeah. for three months. And that really helped in my social awareness and mm -hmm. how I managed situations. So I mean, behavioral therapy. Yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so I did that. Where do you get out and where do you get out and put yourself in a position to meet men? So at the moment, um, just to let you know, I'm a part-time beauty therapist. Um, I know you've spoken about them before on your channel, um, but I only do that part-time, so I don't where do Where do you put yourself so out to meet men? Where do I put myself out? Um, at the moment, I'm on Hinge. That's a dating app. Have you heard of it? I've heard of it, but you know, that's, 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 a, that's an add-on. So what I'm not hearing is a vibrant social life. I'm not hearing that you really put yourself out there. Yeah, well, I went to an exhibition, so I do go to like networking events. I did a business show okay. last week, Wednesday, and well, that was let me let me go ahead and cut to the chase. It ain't enough. Hmm. Ain't enough. Whatever it is, ain't enough. You ladies are going. Let me say this so all women can understand. Easy dating is over. Yeah. You ladies are going to have to leave your house, leave your comfort zone, go out in a dress, heels, looking nice, smelling good, and uh, get out in a position and actually start flirting with men. I've heard you, that before. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, and you're going to have to do this consistently, not once, <laughs> not every month or so, because right now the clock is ticking. You don't have time. So whatever, and I'm saying this to you and through you. I hear so many women who seem like they would be nice women possibly in relationships, but you guys want to skip all the way to relationship and you got to get from the initial meeting somebody to small talk, to date, to decide whether or not you even want to date seriously, to decide whether or not you want to be in a relationship. There's a shit ton of stuff that has to happen. And women is like, I just want to skip to the end because I don't want to do the work because I don't want to get my, I don't want to get my feelings hurt. I don't want to, I don't care. You got to get out there. This is why you got women have to become assertive and aggressive and competitive when it comes to getting a mate. It's blood sport out there. And if you don't, <laughs> uh, can I ask you a quick question actually? Uh, come on, I gotta hurry, um, I gotta I gotta get to the next person. Go ahead. Okay, then just quick one. Um, say if I've met someone and they're like a really hard worker, so and they've got a really busy schedule, and um, we we can see each other, but it's not frequently. It's not every day, and we do more messaging than meeting What's in the person. Question? Um, as a woman, is it okay for me to like always be available in that circumstance? Like, or does it come across? Man, I, I'll tell you, up? you ladies have been given a lot of bad information. You better make yourself available. You better become a pick me. Okay. That's right. Because a lot of women say, no, you got to play games. If you're playing games, somebody's a winner and somebody's a loser. And when you don't know anybody, especially when you're getting to know them, you don't have enough, you don't have enough investments in them. You, things don't have any kind of context. And this is the sad part. I see a lot of women blowing relationships at the beginning because they don't want to seem overly this or overly that. And the man's supposed to do it. The man's supposed to Look, you hear when we talk about secure the bag, you better secure a man. You know how to go up the job if you want it. You know how to get around the, around the world if you want to. They use that same kind of get up and go to, find, to be found by a man. Because men today are listening, are, are waiting for, approaching a woman today. I was telling somebody this 
or a week or so ago. You ladies want to wait for men to make the first move and all this other kind of stuff. The world in 2021 requires female consent. It requires female input. And it's not something that men want. And men are not moving based upon a lot of women's 1920s mindset of the way she is when it's 2021. You guys need to catch up with the way you and your forefathers, your foremothers and your four big mamas, whatever, made the world and then act and act accordingly. If, and if you were, you'd be in the gym five days a week. You'd be eating a plant-based diet. You'd be drinking a lot of water. You would be, like you said, getting the therapy that you need. You get an image makeover. You could get out there and have an active social life. You'd be getting to, you. look, you have to get out there. Especially at 29, yeah. you can't move like you did at 21. You got to act like there's something on the line because in a few short years, the game is over. The wall is undefeated. It's real.